continue our team coverage now. A local resident says he ran outside to offer life saving help after hearing the gunshots outside of his bedroom window. News Channel 20's Julia Rosier joining us more with the story of that moment. Julia. John, a local resident ran outside of his home here on the 1600 block of Toronto Road and helped the injured trooper while waiting for EMS and first responders to arrive. He told me that when he heard those gunshots, he knew he needed to go outside and help. I woke up to some gunshots outside my window, looked outside, didn't really see the you know whole situation going down but i did see the trooper was outside you know he was clearly injured he needed some help so. travis revy was woken up on october 24th to the sound of gunshots outside his window he ran outside and saw illinois state police trooper dakota chapman green injured on the ground he was clearly struggling to you know move around get back to where he needed get himself to safety i immediately Knew I had to go out and do something, but I didn't really know what I was going to do once I got out there. Here's the security footage from the apartment complex that was released by the Illinois State Police. You can see Trooper Chapman Green walking towards his vehicle after the suspect has fled. And across the street, you can see Rebby asking him if he needs help. Luckily, my fiance was home, so I had him come to the window so that he could, you know, phone in for help and reach emergency services. ISP trooper Dakota Chapman Green was shot and attacked last week. The attack sent him to the ICU with gunshot injuries to the leg, a skull fracture and brain bleeding. Rebby says he helped with medical care before EMS arrived. He says his background as a nurse helped with giving care. Once I got out there, you know, I, I could see that he was, you know, in need of some pretty major medical attention and I have a history of like stop the bleed training. Rebby says once medical care and law enforcement arrived, he stepped to the side to allow them to work. But when you're in the moment, you don't think like you would outside of the moment. So, you know, all I thought was if somebody's injured, I need to go help them. I have to get out there and I just kind of reacted. Rebby said it was out of character for him to run into a situation like this, but he said he knew he couldn't just sit and watch it happen from his window. He says he is getting updates from Trooper Chapman Green's family on his condition. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Julia Rosier. Back to you. Thanks, Julia. Now we're going to continue to bring you more information as it becomes available. While Illinois State Police continue their investigation, though, Trooper Chapman Green's mother now sharing her side of the story.